Welcome whiskey aficionados to review number 71. Now, before we get going, make sure you subscribe, all right? Don't miss anything. Um, Writer's Tears has been a pleasant surprise to me. Here's the bottle. It's a redhead version and it's bottled at 46%, triple distilled, of course, being Irish. And this particular version is uh, matured in the Oloroso Sherry hand-picked barrels. When I hear that, I always think, you know, 46% Oloroso Sherry barrels, um, triple distilled is fantastic, but even, you know, scotch in that sort of format to me is one of my go-to sort of whiskies. This is not an expensive whiskey, but it's very, very good. And this poor little, little amount savoring the last drop let's say it's got a rich color it's got a rich ruby sort of um, rich sort of ruby hue um, and that's really why it's called redhead if you like that is why it's called redhead I shouldn't say if you like it's non-chill filtered of course and that's from Walsh Whiskey Distillery. Now, the thing about Walsh um, Whiskey Distillery is they didn't start actually um, making their own whiskey distilling themselves until about 2016 at some stage. So this is more likely not to be their whiskey. So this, is, this has been purchased and uh, bottled. And at that stage, Walsh would have been classed as independent bottlers. And uh, I tend to think there's a little bit of um, bush mills in here. I really do, uh, but I'm, you know, confirm that. If anybody knows, please let me know. On the nose, it's very pleasant, very very pleasant. There's a citrus orange coming off that. A few dried fruits in there. When I'm when I'm swirling this around the glass, I can see the ready. The redness in the the color beautiful nose and on the palate it's very pleasant oh you've got that little bit of dry spice like a dry spice but a sticky toffee date pudding type of feel um, creamy toffee, bit of citrus, and just that dry sort of salty spice, if, if you know what I mean, it's just on the, on the palate. On the finish, it's it's long, you know, it stays with you. You've got that same sort of dry, salty spice in the end, and it lasts for quite a while. So overall, you know, this is, um, I think it's around about $100. Uh, that's uh, Kiwi money, so I don't know, maybe 70 bucks in the States, or I don't know, 50 pounds. It's very, very good. Um, bottle of whiskey, 46%. Yeah, it's very, very good. Um, I've seen a few other people sort of knock this a little bit, but I don't see why. To my palate, this is, this is exceptional. I'll give this 87 out of 100. Really, really worth having a go. If you're into those sherry bomb type of whiskies, it's not that expensive. Try it. It's a uh, really good value for money, I say. But then, who the hell am I? All right. Next, we're going to look at a Cadenhead. Uh, Cadenhead small batch 21 year old whiskey that's uh, quite a good one uh, a little bit more a little bit more expensive really it's 220 or something a bottle um, but I've got about a quarter bottle of that um, to have a look at so we'll catch you next time guys slant you I'll just get my little clicker um, if any of you have seen the, one of these it actually operates your um, camera so I can just click and it stops cuts down on editing which gives me more time to have a nice time so it's launch you guys mm -hmm.